Hi boys and girls. So today I have something fun to do. But before you do it, I'm going to do it with you. I want you to read this book, Bartholomew and the Ooblick. So mine's a really old copy. It's a Dr. Seuss book, really a lot of fun. If you don't have access to the book online on YouTube, there's lots of read alouds for it. Okay, so today I'm going to tell you how to make Ooblet. This is so much fun. Okay, so in order to do it, I'm going to need a couple ingredients. So one is water and the other is cornstarch. So the idea of the recipe says that you're supposed to do one part of water and then up to two parts of cornstarch. But what I've learned is you need a lot more cornstarch. So it's not, um, not something you eat and make sure you get your parents' permission before you do it. So anyway, here we go. Clear a bowl so I can show you what to do. I only made a half a cup of water to start with and you just pour it in regular water. Same thing. And the last time I did this, I measured it and th that was just silly it, because you needed to put a lot more in. So I'm just going to pour in some cornstarch, get this in the grocery store, and if um, if you don't have, if you have too much cornstarch, put in some water. Now the fun part comes. Now I get a mix. So all you do is get your hands in and mix it up. It's pretty clumpy at first. You want to like grab at it. So. Uh, and I tell you, I just did half of this and I'm already liquidy. I already know I'm gonna need more cornstarch. So I'm gonna go ahead and just dump a bunch more in. All right, and mix it up. Ooh, this is really messy. <laughs> anyway, so, all right. So mixing it together. And in this story, um, when they make the oobleck, or not they make it, when the oop looks in the story, it's not this color. So to make it more fun, we're gonna put in some green food coloring. All right, so I'm gonna, you don't need a lot because green food coloring goes a long way. All right, so here we go. I'm going to mix it up. Ooh. You don't like gooey stuff, you may not like this, but it's fun, so anyway. All right, so I'm mixing it all up. And I can tell it's almost there because I can feel it. This is actually also a good lesson for liquids and solids. So, you know, like water's a liquid, something that you can pour into things and it takes that shape, um, which is what we started with. And then solids are, you know, things that are hard that already have a definite shape. All right, so I got it going. Ooh. Now watch, here's the fun part. So if it was, this was just a liquid, I, um, couldn't pick it up, right? But if you look, it kind of looks kind of liquidy. It's, I don't know if you can see, it's kind of like, let me see up close. See, that's kind of like there. Now watch, ready? I can pick it up. And then after I pick it up, it's gonna come down like liquid. Ah, oh, what fun! You can just like sit around and play with this for a long time, ready? that. I can put it up on this uh, mat here. Show you. If you put it on a mat, then it gets really... <laughs> so it's pouring out. It's liquid. It's liquidy, right? But here we go. I can pick it right back up and drop it down. So anyway, you know, grab your parents just a few ingredients and have some fun with it. Um, I was reading that there's other fun things to do with this. So if I find anything else, I'll let you know. But otherwise, good job. Bye. I, I can't turn it off. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, here we go. All right, for real. Bye.